Hello, I'd like to thank you for attending the Social Retail Manager webinar today. We'd like to go over a few features of our system. One key thing I'd like to point out right up front is this is a full-fledged point-of-sale software, meaning that it can track your customers, create invoices, purchase orders, payments, print out price tags, schedule deliveries, and set your inventory levels and points, etc. But more importantly than that, what separates us from everyone else is most point-of-sale systems simply track what you've already created as far as revenue. This system is designed to take advantage of the, no, the new social market. And what this helps you do is not only make money, and but then also track the money, which all the other point-of-sale systems does. I'd like to go over a few features today with you. As you can see on the left-hand side, we have some easy navigation icons. You can return to this screen any time by selecting the Home button. From this screen, I would like to go over the tabs at the top. The tabs at the top we've designed to try to keep you all the information you need for on a day-to-day -day basis to run your furniture store right at your fingertips. The first one is our Customers tab. Now on our Customers tab, you're going to see a little simple representation, um, little if you would, a speedometer here. Now this is based on the number of invoices you've wrote and how many customer service issues or negative responses you're receiving online. Of course, green is good, try to keep it out of the red. On the right hand side, this will track the number of people following you on Twitter, Facebook, Blogger, etc. One interesting note, as the, as the um, speedometer tries to drop more into the orange or the red, you will notice, however, the social following might start dropping off as well. Again, easy to reuse right there, get an overview of what the performance you're having at your store. Now, we've kind of tied a few things in here, and we'll go over some of the more specific features later, but we have a very, very powerful customer retention module built in here, because not only is it about getting clients nowadays, but keeping them as well. Underneath this and on all the tabs on all of the main menu is your announcements tab. From here, your furniture representatives will be able to give you updates such as products, price increases, new products, new sales offers, or when items have been discontinued or dropped. Also, little announcements from us as well when new versions are available. Now, keep in mind, our price is for the system meaning that we're not going to nickel and dime you on every time we make a change or make a, an addition. Only major reversions that we usually launch once a year would you have the option to upgrade. You're never ever going to lose anything only if you would like to add additional features such as the accounting module I talked about earlier. The next tab you'll see, or I'm sorry, the next section you'll see under here is just your messages. From here, you'll be able to quickly, instead of having all those little sticky notes everywhere, be able to see who you're supposed to call back. It sorts it in relevance and lets you know who's supposed to call. So from this screen right here, and again, the tabs are very simple. If you need to make a new customer, if you need to find a customer, or if you need to handle a customer service issue, again, just one simple click away. The next tab I'm going to talk about is our sales tab gives you a nice, again, easy graphical representation of your total open sales, your completed sales, and your commissions. Now we've put some sample information here again just for this demonstration purpose. Now the tabs underneath are very straightforward. If you have a cash store or you track a, a cash till or a cash bag or any kind of cash transactions, the open day will take you through opening your door, counting your money in, and getting ready for the day. You can find a sale, make a new sale, receive a payment, like let's say someone's going to pay the remaining balance or if it's a layaway, close out your day, meaning you close out your cash store, see if you're over and short, and print out your needed reports. The next part is your reports. And again, I would like to point out something. Even though we do create the invoices, track the payments and all that stuff, this is not a full-fledged accounting system. Now, we are releasing in a future date, probably next quarter, we're going to release a full accounting module that has your payroll, has your full bookkeeping, and I think that's going to be like a $3.99 add-on, but again, that is not available at this time. What this does, however, is it gives you a daily sales report, Roxy, and various financial reports, and the ability to easily export this information to a third-party accounting system if you so desire. So basically, this is a sales screen. Let me jump over here our products. On the products, again, very straightforward. Do you need to find a product, make a new item, create a purchase order, print out additional price tags, or adjust or receiving your inventory? 
Now the other two tabs, one is the promotion, and I don't want to spend any time on this particular um, demonstration, but we do offer um, additional marketing services as well. Please contact your representative or visit um, our, our main corporate site, and you'll get more information there. And again, the last tab is real straightforward as well. It is your cash flow, um, meaning your daily sales report and closing out your month. Now, before we go forward, I'd like to point out a few other things. Now, back here from the, um, excuse me, the main screen here, you're going to notice a little uh, window pops up. Now, the term that you've heard, or hopefully you've heard, is the um, free website, or if you will. Here's what we're offering. In the page that you're looking at below, is basically showing you uh, almost a template version. Um, some of you might be familiar with uh, Google Places, um, Local Places, Yelp, and these kind of services. This is tied into a Google Places account, which is a free thing for you to list your store, um, you know, where your geographic location is. The way this works is the program, as you set it up and fill it out, automatically creates this, and we're going to go over that next. But real quickly before even doing that, I just want to show you a couple things on how this is laid out. As you fill this out, of course, you know your store's name. Um, you'll be able to fill out a nice caption about your store and some more information, photos or videos, um, get a nice map, your contact, your store information, as well as any customer reviews or any special coupons you're offering. Now, this is set up through our settings tab. Before I jump over there, I'd like to show you the fact that the matter is this. From these screens, anytime you click on an icon, you will interact. So you don't need to go anywhere to check your email. You don't need to go anywhere to um, interact or um, post your tweets, your Facebook, your blogger, etc. You can do all this from one screen. You don't have to jump back and forth. But let me go over the um, settings tab real quickly. In the settings tab, you'll see we put some sample information in here. Of course, you can put your store's information, website, um, you know, it, what your sales tax will be, um, you know, it, usernames of who's going to be using the system, etc. You know, update a custom logo. Down here is the tabs I were talking about is when you start filling these out, um, offers and coupons about you, your store hours. Um, if you're an Ashley Direct um, dealer, you could put the Ashley uh, information there to automatically log in to check your, uh, you know, product availability and create orders. Um, custom videos you might like to add and stuff. The last tab here is the linking site. And on this, um, the page that's being created, um, you can simply copy this code and give this to <coughs> excuse me, your webmaster or if you're familiar with Blogger. And you'll be able to use that page on your own existing website if you don't already have that available. When you click this button, it will automatically create your local places page and be able to help you, you know, more customers be able to easily find you. So again, this is the basic thing. Now, on this setup, I wanted to point out something. Many people are talking today about social media and social marketing. The problem is, it sounds great, and if you'd like, you know, maybe have a teenager or something, you could ask them to help you set it up. But there's a difference when people are telling you you need to use Twitter and Facebook. How do you do it? How do you set it up? How can you use these things to actually help your store actually make money and use it as a business class? Now again, we try to help you in detail and we have additional services, of course, you know, we walk you through it every step of the way. But to get you started, we've kind of answered those questions. So for instance, if someone asked me how do, you know, how do I go about making Twitter, you know, work for my store? I just clicked on the uh, setup here and of course anybody who's familiar will walk you through it and of course check our additional videos on how to set these up. This basically, you know, setting up a Twitter account is very straightforward. But there's some things that separate the Twitter. Custom backgrounds and custom little extra features that people will tell you you need but they don't show you how to do it. We've included some of those completely free as already part of your system. So for instance, clicking on our customize your Twitter account, this will open up a free service that you can go and just plug in your Twitter account and you can literally change the background, add a custom photo, use some predetermined templates to give your professional business Twitter page that custom look. You also have some features, of course, the top, um, being able to automatically schedule um, your tweets, meaning that you can go through and put sales promotions you know, throughout the entire year in there, automatically schedule them, and they'll send them out at those predetermined times, again, completely free. 
searching for uh, people to follow. Now, keep in mind, one of these things about social, you know, the media and marketing is the fact that of with all things, there's good and bad things, meaning that it's not so much that you want people just following you. That that sounds good, but you want people who follow you are actually looking for furniture or they might be able to help, you know, kind of promote your business. Of course, ha having a bunch of uh, maybe teenagers following you on Twitter, they might post something that might be um, inappropriate or something you're not really after. Again, you're using these tools to help grow your business. So basically, there's a little different than, like I said, setting up a personal um, Twitter or Facebook. You need to set up these up for business. Um, another one we have here is the uh, Tweet Deck. It's completely free. It can be used on any system, your iPad, your uh, Mac or Windows, your desktop. And basically, it gives you a nice, easy place to track not just your Twitter, your Facebook, and all of your things, but it gives you a nice, easy management system to kind of really kind of get a hold of everything that's going on. So basically, this is your main menu. I'd like to, again, thank you uh, for taking the presentation. Um, I'm going to pause it right here right now so we can take a quick break and start answering some questions before we're moving on. But uh, please uh, f come back and continue because we got a lot more stuff to cover. Thank you.